It, it just seems like there's a dark cloud over Carbondale. This town is on the front line of America's battle over abortion. I think that's a plus. I think it shows you that we are a welcoming community. 18 months ago, there were no termination clinics in Carbondale. I feel like it's become more divided. Now, there are three. Our sweet little town now has become the epicenter of abortions for the Midwest. And it's heartbreaking to think about it. So we do our um, ultrasounds in these rooms, counseling, um, surgical procedures. Providing access to terminations is a family affair for Andrea Gallegos. She was by her doctor father's side in their Texas clinic on the day the Supreme Court decision came through and changed her life. I mean, shrieks uh, of just grief and um, patients. We had a, I had a patient beg, uh, you know, because of her situation to just let us do it. Um, it was, it was really heart-wrenching. With abortion banned in Texas, she moved with her family 780 miles to Carbondale, Illinois. In just over a year, her clinic has treated almost 6,000 patients. I think our youngest patient may have been 12. Abortion does not discriminate. About 95% of them travel from other states, many over long distances. And how, how are people when they walk through the door? More than anything, I think, exhausted. They've driven all night to get care for their morning appointment, or they've stayed, you know, overnight in a hotel in an unfamiliar place. They're scared about, you know, what does it mean? I had an abortion in Illinois, but I live in Tennessee. What does it mean when I'm home? And what if something happens? And do I tell my doctor at home what, you know, can I... Um, go to jail because I came here. Um, What's the answer to that? Um, it depends on if they trust their physician. Some would argue, though, that overturning Roe was, was democracy at work. I, I just don't think it was democracy. I really don't. To overturn something that had been in effect for so many years, um, I still can't hardly believe it. Earlier, when we arrived at the clinic, we were greeted by anti-abortion campaigners who call themselves sidewalk counsellors. We're from the BBC, UK broadcaster. Do you mind us asking what you're doing here? Oh, um, my name's Regina and I'm a sidewalk counsellor. And so we try to um, help women know that they are, that there are resources if they would like to keep their babies. And what sort of um, conversations do you have? We just talk with the women and see if there's any way we can help them. So I, I better get back to my job. God bless you. OK. The way these anti-abortion campaign is addressed, a bit like parking attendants, is, according to their critics, an attempt to mislead women arriving here. And they can point them to a different clinic across town, which encourages women to think again. Meanwhile, the leaflets they're handing out in English and in Spanish contain warnings about the devastating psychological consequences and physical complications of terminations. Those are based on a study which has been repeatedly discredited by major research institutions. Geography is the reason Carbondale has been put on the map. It sits at the southern tip of the state of Illinois, where abortion rights are protected, but close to the border with three states, Missouri, Kentucky and Indiana, where abortion is banned under almost all circumstances. It's the same story further south. In total, 14 US states have banned terminations, and elsewhere, in places like Georgia and South Carolina, abortion is banned beyond six weeks, a point where many women wouldn't know they're pregnant. I never thought that I would need an abortion for a planned pregnancy, but I did. Today, the White House is launching a campaign to try and put this fight at the center of November's election precisely because access to abortion is one of the few vote winners the president could rely on. We need leaders that will protect our rights and not take them away. And that's Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Um, I just would take you and your audience back to 1992 when Bill Clinton was running for president. He said, abortion should be safe, legal, and rare. 
And that's how he defined what it meant to be pro-choice. It should be legal, but it should be safe and rare. And that was right where American public opinion was. And he really kind of brought Americans to the pro-choice side with that definition. Carbondale's Catholic priest, Father Bob Flannery, was ordained in 1973, the year Roe versus Wade came into being. Has the overturning of Roe versus Wade given your congregation a sort of purpose? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. There is a big turnout from our parish. He is sad his town has become a destination for abortions, but is heartened by how his congregation has tried to help women think again. I'm sorry that we're kind of the focus for that, but I'm grateful that we have a response that the community is making. They collect donations, including toys, nappies and baby wipes, for their project across town. We kept the chapel here on site because um, we are run by the Catholic Church and we like to promote prayer and service to God. Mary Fleming helped found St Anne's Cradle of Hope. This is where we bring our moms and dads to come and go shopping for their child. Everything in here is free of charge. They provide support to those who decide against abortion. How do you persuade somebody not to have a termination? By showing them that we care about them, we know that what she's facing is really tough and we want to be there to help her. If she does choose life, we're here, we'll help you out. Are there any circumstances in which you'd support an abortion? Only to save the life of a mother. But in the case of rape or incest or fetal abnormalities? It's not the child's fault that they're the product of rape. It's like being punished for a crime that your father committed. If you were created out of a horrible act, you shouldn't make it an even more horrible act by killing that child. It could though, of course, be very traumatic for the, for the mother. It's also very traumatic to have an abortion. Carbondale's mayor supports the clinics. I think that's a plus. I think it shows you that we are a welcoming community. We are not so set in our ways that we can't um, be accessible to anyone. This town, like the US, is at a crossroads. Whatever direction it takes in November, any return to legal abortions nationwide is a long way off.